My name is Ron LeBlanc, and I'm an international gem hunter. My partner Diane and I explore the world looking for gemstones, and this is the story. All right, it's the State of the Union today. Well, we're almost at the end of our trip. Uh, we're sitting in paradise. Uh, I can see elephants over my left shoulder here. Uh, and I think we've got some water buck down over here. Uh, we just saw the water buffalo walk out of the scene over there. Uh, we're looking for uh, a giraffe that, uh, but we haven't seen Not them today, yet. but we saw them yesterday. Yep, yep. Nevertheless, we are in uh, the Savo Park. Savo Park, that's the big monster park in Kenya. Uh, like the Serengeti is the big monster park in, uh, in Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah. Anyways, these are the big ones. And it's great, I'm here with Ari, and uh, Mikey's doing some good shooting. And if we come to the end of a trip, and here was both, uh, you know, it's been a kind of a, a both a disappointing and exhilarating at the same time here. We're glad we're here, but uh, we'll speak more of it later. Uh, but we were unable to uh, find the stuff we want here. I don't want to talk about it now. I want to talk about it later when we get our contact here. Uh, but nevertheless, it was good to visit here and get to the measure of the place because uh, all these uh, trips are, are, you know, we try to figure it out. Is this a place we'll come back to, right, Ari? Or is it a place that has the stones for us? And so we try to figure it out. And, and, and bad is good, too, when we can yeah. take one of these countries and say, no, that's good too, right? Yeah. And then we focus yeah, on the, focus. Yeah. yeah. Like Aerie comes from uh, Madagascar and, and Aerie, what, what, there's only a few stones that they don't have there. What are the stones they don't have there? Tanzanite. Tanzanite, <laughs> wow, I set you up for that one. Yes. Yeah, they don't have Tanzanite and they don't really have diamonds, but my God, it's the yeah, most yeah, yeah. gemiferous <laughs> place in the world, meaning, Every gem is there in Madagascar. Yeah. And the prices are still good, eh, yeah, Harry? Yeah, yeah, price is, uh, it's, a, it's a fire price. Yeah. Yes, fire price in Madagascar. Yes. Look at if you're, if you're an honorable man out there and you want an honorable, the most honorable of all is Harry there and he's got all this gem capacities and ac access you can imagine. Now I'm doing a little promotion for you, Harry. Oh, but you. Uh, <laughs> go see Harry, but you gotta be honorable or, uh, or don't mention my name. Uh, but Ari is the guy to see in Madagascar, that's for sure. But anyways, we're here in uh, Kenya, and okay. we're making the best of it. And it is, you, you, it does have the kind of recipe of, uh, of, uh, of the Garden of Eden. You know, uh, the animals are running free. I'm sure in the dark of night, there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, chasing around uh, for love and food. But it doesn't seem very predatory right now. And there's enough room for everybody. And it's just after the rains and the grasses are, uh, are, are, you know, it takes seven minutes, it seems, where it rains and then the green pops up and every animal's happy. And I love the sort of right down below us here are two water holes. And that's, this is what's strategic of this lodge here. We are at the Voy a Safari Lodge in Voy, south in, uh, in Kenya, is that there are two water holes. I think Ari and I were talking about it earlier. Mm -hmm. I think they're... They've, they've manufactured them, uh, but they're two yeah. nice water holes. And of course, when it's dry, every animal comes there yeah. and they seem to develop a kind of a truce. You know, they say, we'll fight later, but right now we're, we're thirsty. And it's kind of cool. And you could see kind ah, of a... Uh, uh, look. Oh, look at, oh, those um, are... Kongoni. Uh, oh, those are what are they called? Kongoni. The Kongonis, Kongoni. you know, with the, the whirly, 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 lovely, whirly, and, uh, the Kongoni are just running by. And the look, the reaction of those uh, what, water bucks. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yes. the water buck. So the water yes. buck and the Kongoni are now eyeing each other across the, across the water hole a little bit. And uh, the Kongoni are very beautiful as well. Uh, everybody's a little weary and awake. I think it, you know, humans could learn that lesson, you know? They're always put their heads down in their machines and heads down into their subjects and heads down into the world. And we've all turned 
too individualistic without the sense of the other and outside and how we're part of that. And uh, we can learn a lot from the animals as they manipulate their relationships among each other. Although at the baseline is who's going to be supper tonight, you know. But uh, that's very cool. Look at that. Yeah, we got yeah. these uh, Congoni, uh, you know, whirly, 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 whirly uh, antlers. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm And it looks like the uh, water buck are... Oh, the water, they're going over that way too. Maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe, see, see the one looking back? There's always yeah. one looking back, the big boss looking back to see, where is the lion? Where is the cat? <laughs> uh, well, if, if where is the hyena, <laughs> you know? The elephant's really close behind us. Yeah, not to mention, oh, and the elephants are, oh my God, the elephants are coming out too, so. I don't know what it is, but uh, anyways, you see, the, they always leave one in the back there, yes. watching, see? Yeah. Yeah. And even this morning, he stood there for about yeah. 10, yeah. because that's really his herd. Yeah. He's the boss. Yes, he's the boss. Yeah, he's the boss. Now he looks, he says, all uh, right, okay. There is nothing, we can't go. Nothing we can go. Yeah, it's very yes. cool, eh? But the law of the jungle is the law of, ma uh, of man, too. Uh, and it's not, it's about living together, not about eating each other all the time, but... It's always being aware of the other people. We're all part of one thing, I believe. I don't mean to wax philosophical on you, but it's just a fact, you know. We, we've got to accommodate ourselves in this world, and there's been a far too much individualization uh, and everybody looking after themselves and cutting out their own little paradises rather than, uh, you know, having a sense of the community and the bigger thing, you know, where we must live together. Yeah, uh, cool. And it's really... Sad that we've broken apart, in some ways, humanity into individuals. Because unless we get some kind of collective thing together, we won't be able to preserve Eden, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, yeah, climate right. change, Ari. Yeah. I, I know in Madagascar, what are the issues there? Are there there are still droughts and yeah, uh, climate change is yes, yeah, climate climate change. There is a there was a, a big conference in. In, uh, in USA, but uh, yeah, to, uh, oh the to, cop yeah, thing, yeah, 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 it's a cop, uh, cop, cop twenty, whatever it is. West, uh, I don't know, I don't remember cop twenty seven or yeah, it's one yeah. of those every year. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah yes. <laughs> I'm I'm not very good in uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, in in the, in the information. Is it cop twenty seven or cop cop twenty yeah. twenty one? Yeah. But, but most, what most important is the yeah, the idea. Yes, the, the idea, yes. Yeah, now, now, is Madagascar in, in some problem with the climate thing, too? Yeah, yes, yes. Because yes. they also have the, bur the, the burning of the forest, yes, very, yes, very yes, bad. Yes, yes I'm, uh, uh, that's pity. Uh, it's not good. No. It's not good for, uh, for my country. Uh, bushfire there, bushfire here. Yeah, it's yes, the fire, yes, fire, 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 fire yes. is, 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 is yes. deep forest, uh, yes. deforest. Yes, we cover My brain like, doesn't uh, work either. Deforestation. Yes. Deforestation. Thank you, Mikey. Jesus. Every once in a while, we, we have yes. to go. The government to uh, try go to, to the do the best to get a word. You know. to, to do their best to to against this yeah. bushfire. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, they have a yes. tradition of burning, uh, yeah. burning, burning bushes. Yeah, Hard to it, shake, yeah. and it's always that battle between tradition yeah. and, uh, and and like like yes. uh, uh, reality and yeah. rationale. And they have the same with uh, with the Maasai and uh, and uh, yeah. both up here and in uh, Tanzania, where where it is in their tradition to own zillions of cows, a numbers of cows for status, and the consequence is they're eating all the grasses and they eat the grasses of the other animals. And anyways, so yeah. this, is a, this is an example of preservation. Yeah. And when you preserve a place and keep it fertile, keep it green yeah. as much as possible, keep the humans out of there and the development yeah. and, the, uh, and the over, uh, you know, uh, exploitation, like, let's get to explore, not exploit. Explore, yeah, explore, 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 explore. Cut yeah. the exploitation, you know. Cut the idea that, that you know, our, our children, you know, it's that same old tired, this little bit tired thing that, you know, we inherit the world of Seattle, the great chief uh, on the uh, east coast of the U.S. Uh, so I think it's Seattle said, you know, we inherit the world from our grandchildren, you know. And so our grandchildren's gonna have this world. What the hell are we doing about it? How good are we? What are we doing to help our grandchildren? Yeah. So this kind of selfish, yes. yeah. head down exploitation. Well, here we see what can be done. 
And, uh, you know, and the world is happy to work with us, but for God's sake, stop cutting big holes in it. Well, I should, you know, uh, there's a bit of mea culpa in there too, because I've been in the mining business. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, I've been guilty. Uh, but I, I've tried to change my mind and I've tried to be better. I think everybody has to. Yeah, and remember, right. we're in the world, yeah, right? Yeah. Harry, we're not, uh, yes. everybody can't take everything. Yeah, and uh, maximum one, 100 years and we go yeah. to the heaven. 100 years? <laughs> well, you may be going there. I don't know where I'm going. I, uh, I could be going up or down, but uh, anyways, it's, but this is a beautiful example for us. And I'm telling you, I feel, uh, I feel better and healthy when I see a, you know, I think we're all healthier in, of course, in nature. And, mm -hmm. and people are changing. They're never the same once they go safari. You know, you go safari and you see yourself as one of those animals. You know, we're all, where the hell did we come from? We grew out of this earth. <laughs> you know, we grew out of the earth. You yeah. were from the earth, right? We all <laughs> yeah, grew from the earth. As we buy, buy or, uh, side, Maybe yeah. you came down from Mars. <laughs> Uh, from Mars? Mars, maybe, uh, no. Mars. <laughs> but, you know, let's, uh, let's take care of it a bit. And if we can't take care of it, let's celebrate those that do take care of it. Yes, yeah. Anyways, we're, uh, I'm going on crazy, but it's, uh, you know, we're all feeling better for being out in nature. You know, we a bit more adjusted, a bit yeah. more calm, and realize that, you know, uh, although we have to be awake, to the, to the uh, seriousness of nature and yeah. even to its predators, but the world is generally benevolent. Yes, yes. You know, it wants right. us all to survive. And uh, this is one of the prescriptions, which is to leave it alone. Right, right, Mikey? Yeah. Leave it alone, baby. There you are, Mike, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, Mikey. I give him, I give him a quarter every time he agrees with me. He's, made a lot, he's only made a dollar so far. Uh, anyways, it's kind of cool, eh? Yes. Look at the, the animals, they live freely, freely. Freely, yeah. Yes. Oh. Look at that, yeah. Well, they're leaving the, uh, because yeah. those guys are heading this way. The, the elephants? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the elephants are the are the. We you know. take turn to to uh, to to drink water. Yeah. They, they have a, a kind of uh, arrangement. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they do. It, it looks like yes. they're arranged, just doesn't it, uh, Mikey? It, it, After it, elephant, maybe the lion will come. Well, why, did, why did the Congo only have a little jog? Was that as if to say you'd better get out of here in animal language? Well, I, the uh, I think so. I'm learning to speak animal. I, uh, I practice with Ari. I, uh, <laughs> I, know, I, for <laughs> I can't. I can't speak Zebu. Uh, uh, Zebu language. You can see, uh, yeah. What is that beautiful? Mo uh, the monkey. The monkey. Uh, yeah. uh, the big eyes. Uh, from Madagascar. Yeah, it's a lemur. L lemur. lemur. Le the, 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 those fantastic yeah, animals. Yeah. yeah. But you can see the uh, the logic of it as they negotiate the water at the. At the, at the at the pools down here. Yes, yes. You know, someone comes, the other guy leaves. Yeah, someone yeah. comes. Yes, animal can live yeah. can live together with, with arrangement. Yeah. Why not? Uh, why not human? Yes, I don't know. <laughs> They're waiting for you to tell me, Harry. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we're uh, we're pretty good here. Anyways, yeah. I I you know, and some experiences, and you know. If you want to shake up your world and think a little different and have more yeah. creative thoughts, it's nice to get out into this world, yeah. eh? Because yes. I think when we, when we leave, uh, uh, Ari, we'll be a little different, right? Yes. Different yes. thoughts, maybe yeah. new creative. Yes. Ari does uh, lots of beautiful jewelry now, too, in uh, yes. my Madagascar. Wife. Yes. My wife and the lovely designer. wife. She's my designer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's, she's the designer. And so, by the way, you could never, ever, ever do any better for gems ever than Madagascar, all right? So know that if you're watching this, you're in the field. And if you've got a contact, uh, it's very, very good. But do remember with contacts, even with Ari, you gotta, you gotta negotiate. Yeah. You know, you gotta know what you're doing. But it's nice when you can give over the authority. Like when I, I ask Ari uh, about a stone, he, he's without question the best, uh, 
stone guy in Madagascar. And that's not a small thing. And the best cutter. So you ask Ari, he'll help you. Uh, but if you're negotiating with against them with stones, you've got to be strong, too. Yeah. Uh, Ari yes. likes profits. But but reasonable man. Right? We, uh, we, if we can live, uh, that's, in, that's enough. If we can live safely, that's enough. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, anyways, it's a, it's a pretty good deal. Madagascar is stunning for gems. Oh, boy. Like right now, don't tell anybody, but you can get sapphires. Of course, you always aqua, could. Aqua. And aqua. Tourmaline. Tourmaline, of course. So, so all the barrels, right? Yes. I have seen orange barrel there that's stunning, like Fanta Orange. Yes, I have seen stuff that's better than Santa Maria, and I am not bullshitting you. I'm serious. Better than Santa Maria, shinier, uh, uh, brighter, less steely. Santa Maria, you know, that deep, deep blue uh, aqua can be a little flat, in my view. And I've been there to that mine in uh, Brazil. Uh, and, and of course, now they got this Diego sapphires coming up, yeah. multicolor sapphires of orange and, and, and gr not orange, uh, yellow, oh, green, yellow, and green. blue. Yes. And they're stunning as well. And uh, the, place, place, the place is still reasonable. Like, if I was going to start right now with what I know, Madagascar. Now, if you go on Tans and Tans and Tans tonight, you've got to go to Tanzania. But if I was starting as a gem hunter, I'd find a guy like this guy, because he is the tool. He is the gemological tool you need, and then I'd go to Madagascar. Now, when you go to Madagascar, of course, it's not easy, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, the food's tough. You're, the people are, a lot of people are poor. You have to be good and honorable with the people. Uh, but they're very smart, and, uh, and, and bullshit aside, the stones. Aries in a place called Ansara Bay if you need them. Anyways, give me a zip if uh, I'll send you along if I think you're honorable, but... Uh, and the exportation is reopening now in my Yeah, and exportation's uh, easy. And you know, I tell you, uh, the biggest stumbling block everywhere in the world is the stupidity of the rules for exportation and the bureaucracies that they... They, they heap upon you, you know? Yes. That's the big impediment to, to, to stone business. And, 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 and Mikey here has been watching it as well. The God damn, that, sorry the language. Oh, the bureaucracy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> the most important uh, in Madagascar, when you export, be honorable, follow, yeah, 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 follow yeah. the rule, yeah. pay the money for the government. and uh, Yeah, that's it's all re very it, reasonable. It's, yeah, yes. now there was a time, you know, there was a time, back in the day I was a bit more, you know, loose, loosey-goosey. But now you want to feel safe, pay a little freight. Yeah. You know, pay a little, pay a little bit of uh, uh, to the government. Do it, do it right, yes. though. No sneaking yeah, out with no, the no, bullshit. No. no sneaking out. You uh, work it's safely. dangerous. Yes, you, you you can work safely if you if you follow the rules. Yeah, you can yes. work safely. Now you can't say that everywhere. Yes. Like yes. you can't say that some places the rules are so hard that they knock out. Uh, like the Tanzanian rules are a bit yes. tough, and. Uh, but, but, but uh, Mada, Madagascar's got it right now. It is the place to go. There's no question. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't tell you that if I didn't, if I wasn't, uh, if it wasn't real. And we may go there next time. Although it's a little hard. The roads are long, and the uh, oof. But the food can be good. Yeah, food. Ooh, nice That's food. Right. Malagasy food. Bio, and bio food. French, French bio. Yes, many bio uh, and the fresh, 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 every, fresh food, yes, fresh, fresh food, food, and you know, and the French too have left uh, a little of the gourmet thing going on, right? Mm -hmm. So you can find some very good restaurants in the main, uh, the main city, anyways. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's uh, it, but it is uh, it is work. Madagascar's work, work, but it's worth it for sure. And uh, mm -hmm. and, and when you know where to go and who to see, well. You wouldn't believe how lucky you are. When I went there, it was like, oh boy. I was pulling strings and living in malarial huts and mm. shaking until dawn and then buying funny and sweating and it was hard. But now it's better, eh? Yeah. It's and the whole, yes. the whole trade's better now yes. in, uh, yes. in Madagascar. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. The weather, nice. weather's pretty good too. And lots, of, it's very pretty Madagascar, and there's, there are terrific uh, beaches and lodges on the peripheries. 
uh, of uh, on, on the shore too, so you can lounge around too. That's pretty good. Anyways, I think that's we'll call it, uh, uh, Mikey. Where I'm, I'm, I may have to go for my twice daily <laughs> snooze. Yeah.